Today we will demonstrate AND gate and OR gate by using diodes. Here you can see I already made a AND gate circuit where I used two diodes, one resistance of 1 kilo ohm and one LED to check the output. Here you can see I have one and this one. This one should be the A. The blue one is the A as it directly connected with this diode and this one is connected with the this diode this one is b okay so these two is my a and b and we all know that and gate output is one when a and b is equal to one right so if i make a and b both equal to one then the output is one and we all know that if any of the input a and b is goes to zero then you can see the LED turned off that means the output is zero right so if I just change to 0 1 or 1 0 you can see the output is zero as the LED is turned off right and if I make both the input zero then the output is again zero right now if I change it and make it to both one then you can see the output is one so this circuit behaves like a AND gate right now we will make the circuit with these diodes i will just open this circuit and we will again make this circuit by diode register and this led step by step okay so this will be our discrete components this is a diode this one is a diode in this diode the left hand side this side is a, you can see the silver color right so that means this is the negative part and this is the positive part for the diode for resistance this one is a one kilo ohm resistance as you can see the color code first is the brown then is the black and then is the red right that means 1 0 and red means 10 to the power 2 that means 10 into 10 to the power 2 that means this one is the 1000 ohm or 1 kilo ohm resistance okay and here i use a led just to check the output okay now for this led you can see here the big leg this one is the bigger one right so this one is a positive and this one is a negative first we will check how to make a and gate by using diodes so first let's see the circuit diagram of and gate and gate symbol is this one where this one is a and b the output y equal to a b right and we all know the truth table will be a b y 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 that means 0 0 0 and 1 right and i already demonstrate this output by the circuit so now let's draw the circuit diagram of and gate by using diodes so we have two diodes this diode will be d1 and this diode will be d2 and we call it a and b input then we connect the resistance here r equal to 1 kilo ohm here i provided voltage source of 5 volt and here would be the led this led just for our output purpose okay here i didn't connect any other resistance why you can see here this led is connected with this resistance and this source so we don't need any external resistance this resistance will limit the current for this led okay now you can see here for this diode d1 and d2 this is negative this one negative this is positive and positive right and for the resistance the one part of the resistance will directly connect with the voltage source positive of the voltage source and the another part will be connected with the positive of these two diode right that means the one part of diode another part of the diode d2 and the and one part of the resistance will be connected together 
okay and you can see the positive terminal of the led also is connected together okay so now let's build the circuit with the discrete component so here i already have the discrete components so first we can see here this one is a diode okay and in this diode this portion is the negative one and this point is the positive one right so let's connect this diode in the breadboard okay and you can see here the positive terminal of the diode is this point okay let's connect this diode positive terminal with the same terminal as you can see here diode d1 positive and d2 positive is connected together in a single point okay you can see the two terminal of the diode the positive terminal of the both the diode d1 and d2 are connected together at a same point now i will connect the led the positive of the led is this one and the negative is this one so negative will be directly go to the ground and positive will go to the positive terminal of this two diode okay so this this one is the ground of the source right this source i made in my last video and this is the positive terminal of the source right from the positive terminal this line we will connect a resistance of 1 kilo ohm this 1 kilo ohm okay as this one is a bilateral element so we can connect this way or this way it will be the same so we will connect this one with the source okay now you can see led is directly turned on right but we don't have any input in this two diode but you can still see that the output led is turned on why as if you see this circuit i didn't connect any source in the a or b right that means this two diode is not connected with any kind of source either positive or the ground that means our current circuit is only this one that means a led is connected with a resistance that's why you can see the led is turned on okay now what i will do i connect a jumper this is for the a terminal and this is for the b terminal now if i put this two a and b terminal in the ground you can see that led is turned off that means our first condition this one is the case one right so now we demonstrate the case one in our circuit diagram and you can see the output is off the led is off right that means the input both the input you can see is connected in the ground state the bottom one right if you want to check that one just connect this voltmeter terminal the multimeter terminal in this point you can see it shows that zero volt dc that means our a point and b point is now zero zero and the output is shows zero right now i will change the b value to one that means i need to change from zero to five volt this is our d2 this is the d2 diode okay so now i move this b point to 5 volt right just to confirm you can see here in the multimeter i can see this is 5 volt that means now my b is 1 and now my a is 0 okay so you can see here our output is 0 the led is turned off then i can say the case 2 is also satisfied okay now case 3 for case 3 what i need to do for case 3 the value of a is 1 and value of b is 0 right that means the value of a is 1 mean i need to switch the value of a from 0 to 1 that means 0 to 5 volt 
so just switch this one to 1 so now you can see the value of a is 5 volt that means 1 and need to switch the d2 input to 0 okay so now you can see here the value of a input this blue one okay input voltage is 5 volt that means a is 5 volt that means a is 1 and the value of b input that means the d2 input this diode is this one is how much 0 volt you can see in the multimeter is 0 volt right that means now you can see the output is 0 why as a is 1 and b is 0 so the output is 0 so that means the case 3 is also satisfied now the last one is a 1 and 1 that means the both a and b will be connected with the 5 volt source then it will be 1 and 1 right now a is already connected with 1 that means 5 volt source what i need to do i just need to change the b input to 1 and you can see the output is turned on that means the output led is on that means the output voltage is 5 volt now you can see as a is 1 a is 1 b is 1 b is 1 that's why the output is 1 output is 1 means the led should be turned on and you can see here the led is turned on right that means this is the case 4 and our this circuit diagram satisfied our and get truth table so we can say this is equip this circuit is equivalent to and gate okay so we have successfully made the and get circuit now i will do the troubleshooting like when you will go for the examination at that time suppose you make the circuit and you saw there is no output or you, you you saw that in any value you will get the zero output then how to check that one i will show you the first troubleshooting is output is always zero if the output is always zero what you need to check let's see output is zero so what i can do here you can see the output is zero right even a is one b is one the output is zero the output is the led is turned off that means some problem is there in the circuit that's why the output is zero right how can we check this one just if we need to turn on the led then we should have the voltage across the led right so just put this one across the led and you can see the voltage is 0 0.02 volt that means there is no voltage around the led across the led right now just if we investigate here we can see that if we investigate here we can see that this resistance you can see here this resistance is not connected with this diode so we did some mistake while doing the circuit diagram and what we did the resistance is not connected with these two diodes that's why there is no voltage in this led okay whenever you will not get any voltage in the output just check all the circuit diagrams are okay or not that means all the pins you did is okay or not okay suppose you check all the pins are connected correctly then how to check that one suppose the circuit diagram okay but you will still get the output is zero what should you check first check the voltage across this led this is the first check okay you can see it's two volt why two volt as when some current will flow from this circuit there will be some voltage drop across this resistance right that means here we if we get here 2 volt that means this resistance will get 3 volt so the voltage drop across this resistance is 3 volt and this led is 2 volt okay but if you see that the value of voltage is 2 volt still the led is not working the still the led is turned off that means the led is burned 
that means there is a problem in led this is the first one okay another way you can check like sometimes the interconnections of breadboard is not good okay at that time what you need to check you need to use this multimeter and put this one in resistance measurement mode okay so now you can see if i touch this two you can see the resistance is almost zero right this is ideal and if i disconnect it you can see that the resistance is in mega ohm okay so if this diode this diode resistance at this led is is connected together then if i just touch if i just touch here in one terminal of this resistance if of this led and this resistance you can see here the resistance is around 1 ohm right very less that means this resistance is connected with this led or if i touch this diode positive terminal you can see 1 ohm that means this diode is also connected with this led and also if i touch with this positive terminal of the d2 diode then also you can see the resistance is 0.8 ohm right that means all the connections are okay now if there is an interconnection problem of this breadboard and you can check by this multimeter you can see that resistance will be very large that's why the signal is not going through the led that's why it's turned off okay so whenever i will do any practical i will show you the troubleshooting tips so that's all for the and gate so that's all for this video see you in the next one Thanks for your time. Please do share this concept with your friends. And if you like this video, please press the like button. It is really means a lot for me. Bye bye.